Oh. I don't know if this is on purpose. Look at that. Wow. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. It's just six in the morning and we decided to have breakfast in bed. <laughs> And I adorable, hey? <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 200 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> and we are here in the town of Barueri in the greater Sao Paulo area where we've been staying for the last few days with our wonderful friend Jairo. He's been really great to us, especially because we both got a little bit sick and he took really good care of us. He made <laughs> us some food and he was checking up on us. Us. we had time to edit some videos and that's really really cool thank you so much but now it's time to continue our way south so let me show you guys where we're going to be riding today okay so we are here in Barueri in the greater Sao Paulo area and today we are going to be continuing our way south 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 all the way to reach Curitiba Yes, today we are going to try something we have never tried before, which is to ride 400 kilometers, our longest day ever. <laughs> Luckily, it's just 6.20 in the morning. Our navigation said it will take us 5 hours and 30 minutes. So better hit the road, let's go. Let's see what we just found on Oli's shoe. Little butterflies. <laughs> what are we going to do with them? So we decided to put them safely on Jairo's window. Okay, let's see. Hopefully they will survive. Wow, they're moving around. I really don't know what's going on, but <laughs> it's another creature on Ollie's shoe. Yeah, it's the same. It's starting the process. Oh, yeah. it's the same. You see, it's already. Oh, wow. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> they really like Go Ollie's. with your brothers. Oh, yeah, exactly. Go with your brothers. <laughs> It's time to get fired up. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. So we have a bit of a crazy start on Jairo's driveway, which has a big, uh, massive hill in front. Okay, let's try to take on this hill nice and easy. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> Ready to hit the road. <laughs> bye. See you guys. Bye bye guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Back on the road. Oh, this is the first time I've seen 250 miles to distance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here's where we saw the capybara. Hello. You want to say hello? <laughs> <laughs> and he is big and so cute. So that cute. guy was massive, yes. <laughs> wow, he was so cool. Such a beautiful neighborhood that Jairo lives in. It's got so many trees around and it's so quiet and really, really beautiful. Bon dia. Bon dia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ciao, 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 ciao. Woo! Back on the road. This area here is so hilly, <laughs> and it looks like that we are sort of on the top of the hill at the moment. Nice riding in the morning. The sun is just up since an hour. It will be a hot day today. Well, look here. We've got a beetle following a bus. <laughs> That's some beautiful 
VW classic energy happening in front of us right now. Wow. I'm not sure why, but here in Brazil, there seems to be so many of these cars, old VWs. And look at them, they just look beautiful. <laughs> There's another one coming from the side. Yeah, look. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you just want to buy them, convert them. <laughs> and live in them. <laughs> and live in them. Yeah. It was definitely a crazy visit <laughs> to visit Jairo after a long time being in contact already. Yeah, he's been following the channel since we were on our cycling trip from John O'Groats to Land's End. So it was really, really nice to see him after all this time. Absolutely amazing. And he took us in to downtown Sao Paulo to a place called Paulista Avenue. Oh, Sao Paulo! people <laughs> yes live music the whole way and it feels like a little bit like the love parade even in berlin like <laughs> it was just crazy like it's like a festival every sunday there <laughs> insane yes. yes so our journey today pretty much consists of one main road that connects sao paulo and curitiba and that is the br116 we later found out that this road is nicknamed the Highway of Death due to its high number of accidents and is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. The Sao Paulo Curitiba section of the highway is perhaps the most dangerous. So first we just have to get out of the greater Sao Paulo area and then we'll be jumping on that road for a long time. Okay, we are heading on to the BR116, the road that is going to take us out of Greater Sao Paulo and towards the next city of Curitiba. And already my GPS says stay on this road for 188 miles. <laughs> oh. At the moment, it looks still very populated and very uh, that there are some traffic jams are ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, we still have definitely some busyness to come before we get out into the countryside. Yeah, it was just crazy to see uh, the suburbs of Sao Paulo. The Sao Paulo area is just exploding outwards yeah it's just growing and growing and Jairo told us that originally it was just Sao Paulo and then there were like other cities right and left but people are building and building and everything is just fusing together this is the reason that so many people are living now in this area Sao Paulo and around this is the reason that um, Sao Paulo is that big got a payage coming up Okie dokie, I have my cash ready. This time I am prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Bom dia! Bom dia! Obrigado! Bom <laughs> ciao, obrigado. ciao! So how much was the payage? It was about uh, 40 cents. <laughs> Sorry, 40 pennies. In English you say pennies, hey? <laughs> Uh, we say pence. Oh, pence. <laughs> 40 pence. If you say 40 pennies, then uh, a penny is a one pence coin. Ah, oh, okay. So if you say 40 pennies, it is actually 40 pence, but what it means is 40 individual pennies. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the payage cost 40 English pennies. We're finally getting out of Greater Sao Paulo, getting out into the countryside, 
our surroundings have turned from buildings to trees <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we like to see it is a little bit annoying that we have to take such a big road to reach our next destination but we had to decide between one day riding and getting there or probably a two or three days riding and taking smaller roads yeah i mean we waited in rio for our bike to arrive for a long time we were originally quoted around four to five weeks for the shipping and uh, as you guys know it took almost three months before we could actually hit the roads of brazil we have to catch up a little bit of time and that means sometimes taking the big road but anyway it will be interesting to see how we feel at the end of the day because it will be definitely our longest ride 400 kilometers <laughs> let's see how you're doing Oli <laughs> <laughs> noise I think our chain we have to uh, get the oil on it oh look there's some other motorcyclists yeah. <laughs> oh dear. okay oh yes oh my god have a look over here look at the way that these guys have leveled out their truck <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> I have no idea how they got that on top of those rocks. That is a... that's skillful. I mean, these are artists. We also heard our chain rattling quite a lot, so I think it's time for some lubrication. Yeah, we were supposed to do it like a few days ago, but we forgot. So, we do it now. We do it now. How's that looking? It looks good already. A little bit more. Lubed up and ready to go. <laughs> There's quite a lot of banana production in this area. We've seen on the side of the road quite a lot of fields dedicated to bananas. Oh yeah, look over here. Yes, a sea of banana trees. When we were living in Cairns, Australia, we uh, shot some banana trees as well. <laughs> Because actually they're growing, they're producing some fruits and then you have to chop them and then a new banana tree is growing out of them. Yeah, every year is a whole new tree that has to grow. That's crazy, no? Yeah, and the stem is actually just very um, soft and leafy. It's not like a hard wood or anything like this. It's like very, very soft. We can also see quite a lot of papaya trees like over there, in between the forest. Muy tropical. Nice. <laughs> Look at this queue. Wow. Yeah, there's a big traffic jam on the other side here. You can see endless cars waiting. Wow. Well, I sure hope that doesn't happen to our side. Getting into some really beautiful hilly landscapes now. Look at this. And there's still some bananas. Yes, and you can see some of the trees are flowering at the moment. So you can see the yellow patches on the hills. It's quite cool. It's really pretty. We are 3 hours 45 minutes into our journey for today. 
and we have driven so far 140 miles and 99 miles left so it's a very successful day today yeah it's only 20 past 11 so we haven't even reached midday yeah it's a miracle <laughs> And if the fast road is not so busy, it's actually really enjoyable as well because you have some nice views, you get some wind to cool you down a little bit because we're having 33 degrees at the moment. Yeah, that sunshine is pretty strong on us, but yeah, the wind is helping a little bit. So we just stopped for break number two and uh, there's like a self-service buffet in there, so I got like some little treats, some chips, some deep fried courgettes. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. That looks incredible. Yeah, it's really common here in Brazil that people are getting lunch at these self-service um, restaurants. And there you pay actually, it depends how much gram and what type of food it is. Now this one cost only about two pounds <laughs> for the plate. <laughs> and I got a couple of cheese muffins as well, which were like 50 cents or something. So overall, quite a cheap little buffet lunch. <laughs> bon appetit. Hola, bon dia. Obrigado. It looks like they're doing some burning on the hills around this area because we can see quite a lot of smoke oh my god just here on the side of the road as well have a look crazy it's just burning here i don't know if this is on purpose look at that wow yeah wow that was crazy just on the side of the road here crazy fire yeah i didn't see anyone like there to control it so it could have been just like a wildfire wow so i just saw the sign to say that we have entered our third state in brazil parana yes <laughs> goodbye sao paulo goodbye time to explore our next state yeah and what an entrance this is like a state park here as well. It feels like they are welcoming you in like, hello, look at the nature we have to show you. Seven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine point nine eight thousand. Just stopping for some fuel for a second time today. And I think that's the first time we've ever used a whole tank of fuel. I think it's so cool with the stickers here. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. Everyone's stickers. How many people have stickers? We don't Hola. have stickers. <laughs> Maybe we should have stickers. Yeah, it would be cool, hey? Gasolina comun completar. Obrigado, obrigado. So this fuel is 5.1 reales, which is about 85 pence, I guess. That's, that's quite good, isn't it? That is quite good. It's quite good. 
still don't know if we can use ethanol um, maybe if you guys know in the comments if we can use ethanol <laughs> then we could save another 20 cents <laughs> it's cheaper but I'm not sure I really don't know if we can put that in I don't know so for now we'll stick with gasolina yeah juiced up and ready to go Forty-eight miles to go. Yes. Bon dia. Bon dia. Tudo bem. Obrigada. Well, this is a surprise. It's starting to rain. Wow, I uh, did not expect that. Literally 20 minutes ago, it was nice and sunny. Hopefully it's just one cloud. Yeah, quick, right away from the cloud. And we only have 15 miles to go to reach Curitiba. No, go away rain, go away! Ah. We have only six miles to go, but it's looking super dark and scary now, and the wind has really picked up. It looks like a storm is coming in, and it's like literally blue skies, no more than an hour ago. Oh my god! I think we uh, missed our opportunity by about 10 minutes. Oh my god. Oh sh I mean this is now ridiculous. I mean if you want we can just uh, like stop at the side of the road in a minute. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, okay, we're just gonna stop here for a sec. We have to wrap up our GoPros to try and save them from the rain. Good evening, guys. We had a bit of a break in the weather here. So we quickly got Bumblebee to the accommodation, which is here. And it is actually a whole apartment. Look at this. I left Lavi behind over where we were before. So it's just me here. No, I'm just kidding. She is here. <laughs> Lavi's feeling a little bit sick, so she's actually lying down in bed. So we'll do the vlog from the bed, shall we? Yes. Ah, yes. There we go. Because Oli was sick for the past three days and I think he gave it to me. And now I'm sick oh. and now I will give it him back. Yeah. <laughs> but we did make it here despite the crazy, crazy rain. Wait, we made it here what? <laughs> Happy and alive! That's right. <laughs> and we completed our longest ride on the bike of the trip so far, which is about 400 kilometers or 260 miles pretty crazy it's <laughs> a long way for us yes we have exciting plans here in Curitiba we have arrived but we'll tell you guys about those plans in the next episode yes that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comments below we will see you next time good morning <coughs> And some beans. Oh, one sec, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> My water bottle was just rolling off down into the car park. <laughs>